Alright guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number 37, and the last episode we had quite the crazy end of the video. If you didn't watch it, definitely recommend it. I have no words for that episode. As you can see from the title, it's just ridiculous. But for today, we have the Musty Crab, which is also a very cursed photo. As you can see, it's Musty transformed into uh, <laughs> Mr. Krabs. I have no idea. I don't know where I went with this, but I, I, I had no idea where to go with this photo. I was going to stick Musty all over the, the building, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to liquefy his head until it sh shapes into Mr. Krabs. So here we go. We're at Champion 1, Division 2, I believe. Yep, we're right where we left off in the last episode. We're currently on a win streak of 120 plus games. Hopefully we can keep that win streak going and maybe even make it to Super Sonic Legend without even losing a game, which I highly doubt, but you know, we're going to try our best for sure. But as always, if you're enjoying the daily unique content and custom maps on the channel and you're part of the 64% who haven't subscribed yet, it helps out a ton if you do subscribe as we're getting close to 1 million subscribers and I love you guys forever. But now let's get into another episode and see how it goes. Alright, we got the first game real quick, even like two seconds into the queue. We got Please Vote For Me uh, against Malamente and Henny Probs. So I'm going to do a bit of a cheat up here. I'm going to go to the side, that's fine. It's going to bounce out for my the opponent. Right here, I'm going to wait for my teammate to get behind me, then I'm going to go for the challenge. It's a good dunk though. A little bit of panic, the guy's probably going to turn on this. There he goes. Good, I'll be ready for this before the opponent. i wait for the, d the dunk as well. And there we go. So I end up getting a nice little flip uh, follow up there. Mala? Wait. <laughs> I don't I don't know who this is. Maybe it's his friend. I was so confused. But that was a nice little uh, flip to the side. And then I continue with an air dribble. Obviously a little more, you know, complicated than I needed to make it. The idea was I was trying to watch out for the guy on the left side. Because um, he might have challenged early, which he tried to. Right there, I just did a bit of a break check because the guy was trying to demo me. Just those little things where I know I can hear from the game sound uh, where the players are. That I want to be a little bit careful. I don't really want to be behind my teammate like this, so I gotta be a little bit careful. They backed off of the challenge because my teammate's in the back corner. I gotta be a little bit careful with this challenge as well. A good turn for my teammate. I'm gonna call him C for now on because he's got a long "please vote for me" name. Right here, if I get ready on the wall here, I can sit with this, and I definitely have possession first. My teammate's kind of like being a little slow to get out of the out of the net though. It's a good turn. Mal's got full boost, so he's probably gonna turn for this immediately. But he has to waste all of his boost just to get touches here. And then I can go for the challenge after he wastes all of his all of his boost and positioning. Decent try. Good. Could be an opening here. Close. And there we go. We'll go for the bottom left corner. So there was an opening. I could tell. I was just. I was kind of monitoring midfield, waiting for Hen Henry or Hen. Is it Hen? Yes, yeah, Henny. Probs. I was waiting for him. He ended up missing. And my teammate got a possession and tried to shoot towards the net. Actually faked out Malamente, and then I was able to shoot it bottom left. When you see someone's car facing a certain direction, going behind them is always easier to aim for because, oh, right there, my teammate could have turned. I think um, instead of going for the boost, and then let me cover behind. Go for the, the far right corner and get the boost. I don't even know if I remember. I don't even think I finished my, my train of thought in the last thing. But as I was saying, uh, if there's a, someone like facing backwards in net, going behind them is always good because you know they can't boost to recover that positioning. Right here, I'll go on the, off the wall first. Stay with us in the corner. Make sure I get the boost. Oh, I didn't get the boost. <laughs> well, it's the right idea though. Good demo. Go for a 50-50. This could bounce out mid again. I want to go immediately because I know that they're going to try and turn on that once it spills out mid. My teammate can cover it and get a nice shot towards net. And there we go. So that could have been really dangerous if I didn't follow that. He could have easily got a really good shot on target that we couldn't really react to with a low boost. So I want to make sure I keep that possession and move forward towards the ball. And then make as big of big of a body as I can against the ball. Like I want to get as close to the ball as possible and then turn my car kind of like this. That way I cover more ground, more surface area. This could be a good shot here. It's a really good play. Definitely turned in a little bit too aggressively. I could have, uh, I could have waited back a little more. It was a pretty, uh, pretty weak 50-50 from my, from my teammate. A perfect shot from the opponent. Should have just turned away a lot sooner. I was debating going on that, but it was super fast, and because it's like over my head, it's not really good to go for. Right here, I'm gonna try and pop this so softly for my teammate, and then get mid if I can. It's a decent try to pass it middle. Nice finish too. Really aggressive challenge, but it works out. 
They didn't quite expect him to uh, barrel into that again, but it was a nice little soft touch from me. I kind of backflipped off that touch a little bit to keep it softer, and it keeps it closer to my teammate. Because Malamenti in, in that back corner could turn, turn into the challenge if I hit it down to that corner. So keeping it away from the opponents. This is sort of the exact same situation, but the opposite way. The guy tried to go for it again, but now you can see we have possession because of it. So I'll stay with this. The teammate doesn't trust me. It's okay, though. So Malamenti didn't get the boost there. I'm going to go early because they probably don't expect it. He's trying to get a collection. Hold this to the side, see if my teammate can finish it. What a what a shot. That was definitely open. I could have just shot that open. Because of that cut right here, the other guy was not anywhere close. I don't even know where he was. Henny was like super far out. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's on about. There's a guy named Mala Kiss that's in like, you know, SSL. And that, that, that might be... Uh, what he's talking about. They might have also played each other in the last game or something. Playing with packet loss. So wait, wait for here, wait for the shot, then backflip it off the corner. I can sit in net here, wait for the shot to come in. Pretty easy to cover it. No one's really on the ball right now, so I'm going to pop this around the one player. See if I pop it up. Maybe a finish? Close. See some play. I like that my teammate's trying to keep possession close. Waiting for my teammate to get behind, then clearing it to the corner. Gave it kind of back to Henny, but that's okay, though. It's a good try. Ended up missing. <laughs> These guys are just having a, a life chat in, in the middle of the game. I like it. I mean, we're, we are at five, four goals, so... Right here, I'm just going to wait for him to make a challenge. There we go. Just letting him barrel into it, it's fine. And if he, if he clears that out, I can just get ready for it and wait in mid. Pop this off the back for my teammate, see if he wants to follow it. And I'll quickly recover out as well. Not the greatest touch for my teammate. If he's if he's going to not be able to get a very accurate touch, he could uh, wait a little longer to make a better touch. If he wants to go up super early like that, he could, uh, you know, make sure he arrows a little better. Let's see if he makes a good challenge. Henny will probably have this first. Teammate's in the net. Kind of a high throw away, though. So I'm just kind of waiting for my teammate to get behind me. There it is. And that should be good. There we go. Pass this out middle, see if my teammate can finish it. Nice try. It was a little bit heavy of a touch for me. At the same time, uh, there was there was the ability to get up there. He just didn't push up fast enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, man. I respect it. So he's, let's see if he pinches it. If he pinches it, that means I can get, get to the ball first. I know that just from the fact that once he pinches it, it goes faster than the car can move. Most of the time. And there you go. A little bit of a pinch back. I don't even remember if it was Henny or not. Or if it was the other guy. Decent plays by my teammate. Pretty solid. Right here, I'm just waiting pretty far back. That way I can wait for that clear. And right here, once again, just waiting for that clear again. Might be a bump, but that's okay, though. Good patience by my teammate. I like this. They keep possession. Not the greatest 50-50 in the world, but he does have a chance to follow it up and get a shot. And look at that. Nice. Currently at 9 out of 10 wins at bronze. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's telling the truth. <laughs> Nice. And there we go. So really, really big blow away in that game, or blowout, whatever you want to call it. Um, but honestly, my teammate played really solid too. He almost uh, got past me in points there. And it seems like everyone's kind of in the Grand Champ 1 zone. I don't know how long it's going to take to get out of Grand Champion, because that's a really big like area of rank, and it seems to play out a little slower. But we'll see how it goes. We'll continue grinding and uh, hopefully move up closer and closer to Super Sonic Legend throughout the series. Well, that's the plan, obviously. <laughs> I forgot this was my underpass map right now. So yeah, this is a, this is a future map that's going to be coming out soon on the channel. My sister actually designed this herself, and I helped make the theme of it and uh, put it all together with lighting and stuff. But she's starting to make more maps uh, with me, which is really good because that means we can pump out more. I've kind of taken a bit of a break making custom maps for a little bit just because I needed it some personal time. But I'll be getting back into it, and hopefully I can get that rings map done uh, quite soon as well. But I just I really like this map shape. We had a lot of fun recording on it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, we got Malamente on the other team again. Well, and we got Zuki on my team. And then the Rock's right, but high AF. <laughs> oh, right nut. <laughs> oh, not quite the same thing. All right, so I'm going to wait back here. My teammate kind of barreled into a challenge. He's still in the net. The other guy kind of lost possession a little bit. I don't really have to, like, worry about this challenge at all. It's kind of just, uh, you know, playing for aggression, but it doesn't really do anything. I expect that he might turn to this as well. Go around the one player. Try to bump him. Good play, though. 
good boost grab on my teammate. Make sure that they don't have it. Try to cover this midfield if I can. It's a good play by the rock <laughs> right nut to uh, stay under that. It's going for the uh, slip reset. Good patience by Zuki there. It's a close try by the, uh, the opponent to try and go for that musty. Oh, good fakes. This guy's going for the fakes and the, uh, the mechanical plays. I like it. Right here, I can go for the fit, uh, double. See if they get a solid block, which they do. Now I can get behind my teammate. Because while all the boost is taken on that side, I want to make sure I I uh, go wide on that. Because there's no boost to grab in the corner. There's no reason for me to go to the corner because of that either. Make sure I get one touch. Once again, that's fine if he makes that touch because I'm just going to stay with it. Go over one. And hopefully, Zuki can go for a shot here. It's a decent shot towards target, but he's probably going to collect it. Almost, <laughs> almost went on target too. He likes to go for a lot of pinches on the Dominus. It's not really that threatening. Especially if my teammate's backing me up, which he is. Perfect. I once again, a big throwaway. Pop it across for my teammate. He could have went for that mid boost instead, but he was a little bit worried of the, uh, of, uh, you know, the touch is not going well. Also, I just missed quite a bit. It's okay, though. Teammate should be able to follow it. Okay, never mind. He, he needed to jump up a little bit earlier. He was being a little bit patient. You can see the rocks right now is uh, at 432 points. He's trying to constantly, constantly go for pressure, which means I can probably pick it up a little bit. He likes to go for these dribbles and uh, pinches and stuff. So let's see if he goes for it. He's going way too early for that to work. Really early challenges from them again. Hopefully my teammate can get a clear or stay patient in the corner here. I'll make sure I grab this mid boost in case they go for the aggressive challenges, which it seems like they have been. Ooh, good challenge. It could be actually really bad. I tried to follow up my teammate's pass. It wasn't the greatest. He could have uh, held on to possession and uh, and then made a dribble out. But he ends up flicking it out. And I tried to cover for him, but it was too weak. So we got to pick it up a little bit. Ooh, close. All right, it's time to sweat mode a little bit. Woo! It's not in. Oh! Oh! Teammate's pretty far. He probably could have followed that as well. He gets the mid boost though. There we go. One touch. We can go for a demo maybe. Woo! There we go. <laughs> I had to focus a little bit. These guys are actually making me uh, sweat a little bit. I was missing quite a few challenges because I was expecting them to actually just barrel in. These guys have been pretty consistent in actually making more dribbles than the opponents have been in the last few games. It's making uh, making our job a little bit harder since they're actually holding on possession, which is like really smart. Let them throw it out. If he wants to jump for that, Zuki, you can just wait for it. Because he jumps, now he's out of the play. Should be a shot towards target, and he wasn't able to get back on the defense. Right there, I just take over and get a bit of a dribble. Um, he definitely should have been able to react to that, though. I shot it a little bit early. I kind of wanted to bring that closer. Good fake. I'll leave the boost for my teammates since he's low off kickoff. I'm going to fake this. And take the ball in possession. Once again, keeping it close, that's making it way more difficult. I'll grab the back corner as well. See if my teammate can push up for a challenge. Oh. Good 50 50. Probably gonna stay with this if he can. There we go. It's a good shot. Let me be able to react to it because I know it's coming. Good. Stay with it. Don't have to lose possession yet. I should be trying to grab pads while this is happening. There we go. Goes across. Teammate gets the boost. It should spill out for him. I don't really like this early jump. Puts me in a weird situation. Zuki's like kind of freaking out. <laughs> he's leaving me in a lot of 1v1s. So I gotta be a little bit careful with that. Um, he's trying to go for these aggressive shots when he doesn't need to. There's so much more time on the bottom of the field rather than off the, the wall. But hopefully I can go for the shot here. Should be my teammates finish. There we go. It's a nice little, uh, nice little play there. I saw the pinch come out and I knew I could go for this challenge because Malamite was still, or Malamente was still turning. So in that case, I can go for the early touch, go off the backboard, and then my teammate can finish it off. Good recovery, though. This is probably the hardest I've had to work in a game so far. Not sure. If, I don't think the guy's a smurf or anything. I think he's just a really aggressive player. So just trying to stay stay relevant. That ball should go to my teammate. It's playing a little bit patient, but it's okay. Works out. I'm scared of Malamente going here. They're pretty aggressive players, so I gotta be ready for that. Over one, then get the 50-50 on the next one. My teammate should be able to push up and make a shot. There we go. 
Okay, big throw away from Malamente. Should be able to pass this over to Zuki. Grab the middle boost as well. Big miss. Gonna go for the far right corner. Make them have to clear it to the side. Because I put it to the right like that, they're clearing it to the side. I can get the boost from him. And now Malamente's uh, left his teammate in, in a 1v1 here. Ooh, that was almost a really bad pinch. Could have been bad for us. Once again, I've learned my lesson that, that those passes are really bad from that guy, so I'm just not going to go. I'm just going to keep it off the wall. This should be pretty much enough to kill it. Oh! Teammate doesn't need a challenge, but he does anyway. It's okay. Good. Okay with this. He ended up missing, which actually works out because it hits the floor. But there we go. Solid game. Looked like the uh, the one guy was maybe a smurf, but I can't tell though. He was playing pretty fast and trying to make a lot of dribbles. Not not the biggest deal though. He's just trying to keep possession. He definitely liked to dribble a lot. I mean, he immediately left, but that was a pretty solid game. Uh, definitely a good comeback there. We were down two goals. Um, and we brought it back to 3-2. So let's get into the last game, see how it goes. Hopefully we can continue that win streak. That was a little bit nerve-wracking for sure. All right, this time we've got the rocks The rocks right now on my team. So we'll see how that goes. We got Zuki and Squinty Face. Very nice. Right here, I see off the 50-50, I can grab that boost, which leaves the opponents in a really bad um, situation because he has no boost off the kickoff. Decent try from my teammate. Pretty big throwaway. Immediately challenges again, which is fine. Good possession. I like that my teammate's going for those dribbles, like I said. Trying to go for the, uh, trying to go for that bump play. Super aggressive from the opponents. Trying to avoid the demos. Trying to go for that shot. It was pretty tight, though. Oh! <laughs> I went for the bump and almost knocked him out. I see Zuki's pretty uh, low here. I see my teammate not really respecting my positioning behind. But that's okay, though. He tried to get a coverage for it. Good patience. Just faking that, making him force the ball over. Once again, I didn't think that guy was going fast enough. I kind of wanted him to bump so he's out of the way, but works out. All right, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's what you get for going for those demos, man. I don't know what that was. That's not Zuki's fault. That was definitely uh, Squinty Face. Uh, he just kind of left his teammate to die. That's okay, though. The Rock's got us. I'm going to stop calling him the Rock's right now. I'm just going to call him the Rock. Minute gone by, you can definitely feel the games are a lot more intense. We'll grab a good possession here. Go for a flick. Good save though. Bump the other guy off this ball, and now my teammate can get in for the pressure. See what he does. Nice to go for the mechanical plays, but as you can see, that can put you in a weird situation. I'm gonna pop that over Zuki if I can for one touch. And I'll get by my teammate, because I, I don't need too much boost to cover this. The fact that my teammate missed, though, could be awkward. There we go. Just make sure I go on a little bit of a backflip. Obviously, that's a little more mechanical. Pop this middle for my teammate. And there we go. Nice job. He's in really good possession, uh, like positions for uh, receiving passes and, and overall just uh, rotation and stuff. I can notice that from the last game, too. So I know that I can use him in this game to uh, receive those passes. I'm a little bit careful with this touch here. He's definitely going to get my boost, so I want to make sure I save my boost. That's why I have 27 and just stick with this. Both the players are in the corner. Oh, that's a good play. This could be a goal. Good recovery, though. Right here, I see my teammates got the, the possession on the ball. I'm going to go forward instead and maybe even finish this. I know it's like a little bit of an awkward play, but I knew I could. Because uh, I already read the fact that that ball is rolling in front. My teammates got the ball possession right here. If he flicks that forward, I can get the mid boost and then go for the follow-up. Definitely the very like aggressive play, but we're up two goals. I thought I would try it, and it worked out. All right, he wants to fake. What I'm going to do here is loop wide to the left side um, because Zuki went back corner. Wasn't the greatest cl uh, clear to, my to myself off of that kickoff fake, but it works out. I'll stay with this and pop it up for my teammate. Squinty makes a touch, but as you can see, it goes right to me, and I'll pop this across. A little bit of a wide turn for my teammate. It's going to put me in a 1v1 for a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. Pop it around him. Well, I'll keep my momentum. I'm just gonna get the mid boost. It could 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 go badly for me sometimes, but and well, like I said, I'm pretty confident with three goals up. I go for that play. Wait for Zuki to clear it. Should be all right. Let's pop this off the backboard. Wait for wait, wait for Squinty. Zuki's going all the way back here. Actually, he's turning. Oh my! Good save though. There we go. Just saw that the other guy was gonna try an aggressively challenge. They're trying to play a little bit faster because of. 
the fact that we're not letting anything in. I'll leave that boost for my teammate too, if I can. Pass to my teammate. Now it's possession. Really good possession. Using those little dribbles and flicks to... Oh, I'll put that around. <laughs> it's not the greatest play, but uh, it works out. But like I said, I'm using these little the little dribbles and flicks. Um, oh, good catch. Patience. The dribbles and flicks are like what's going to make it uh, hard for the opponents to get in and make a challenge at this rank, for sure. Should be an opening. Close on the save, but there you go. Honestly, I think that like <laughs> my teammate is just really consistent with dribbles and just staying with the ball. He doesn't like do anything too crazy, but um, just caused a lot of troubles for this rank because you're not expecting people to stick with the ball. They usually just throw the ball away. So well played to him. That was a pretty quick game. I think we're going to jump into uh, one more quick one. Yeah, we'll jump into one more game. Let's see how it goes. I was I was debating maybe not doing another one, but that was a quick, quick game. Let's jump into one more. All right, for the last game, we've got Colors on my team with a team. Oh, actually, Zuki again. He's teamed up with uh, his teammate. Get some Yule, I guess. Get behind my teammate here for the, the touch. See if they pass it across. What happens here? Good pass over to Zuki. Could go for the immediate clear. So I'm going to jump up to the wall first, then go for the touch. Ends up feeding it into the opponent in midfield, but it should be all right. I see my teammate kind of wants it, so I don't want to commit in the corner. Wait for this to spill out to me. See the guy's going, so I can just beat him. I knew that that, that could throw them off a little bit if they go for that because of the uh, the play. I'm going to try and pop this left if I can. It's an awkward play. A good touch. Suki should clear it. I'm already ready for that off the side, so I'm just popping off the wall. Going to fake him a little bit. Go to the far side. Should pop out middle. Color should be able to get that. If he wants to pass it, he can too. It's okay. Well, he's going off the, the corner. Let him try to go for it again. Good try. Bit high though. So again, Zuki's kind of just throwing the ball away. I'm not too worried. Good possession for my teammate. Should be an opening here. If you can finish it. Nice job. Really good play from Colors there to uh, wait for the other player uh, to challenge and then pop it at the last second. Because they were probably looking at me that whole time. And they knew I, I knew they were going to beat me, so I wasn't going to fully commit. But I was pushing up, and then my teammate snuck in from the side. I'll pop this up nice and high off the backboard. Um, we're getting to the point where, like, backboard reads aren't, like... Or backboard hits aren't, like, super valuable. But it still tends to throw people off quite a bit. Good possession for my teammate. Good try. Keep that off the wall so it goes over Zuki's head. I'll wait for the opponent to make that touch, and then I can pop this across for my teammate. But has lots of space. Could have kept possession, but he threw, threw it to the corner, which I guess works out. There we go. Once they let go of that ball pretty heavily, I could go in challenge. i try and wait middle here. Good try on the shot. I'll let him, my teammate get the boost. I could tell he was going to try and get it. Get a decent 50-50. Good try on the second touch there, too. We get the corner and see what happens off that shot. It's a good shot towards target, but... Right here, I would have liked to maybe see my teammate pass it back, but they end up throwing it away anyway, so I can stay with this now for the follow-up. Pop it over one. Decent 50-50 as well. We're starting to boost Starf here because I got the back corner boost. I'll wait for the demos here. Got to watch out. So the one counter to, like, starving is demos uh, of the other team because it forces them, one, to go back, two, to go out of boost, um, and three, you know... Just basically relieve a lot of pressure everywhere on the field and, and a little bit of an ease of mind. So um, if you can do the one thing that is to counter that, which is to avoid the demo, then you're looking pretty good. Right here, I can go off the wall and make a shot towards target. See if they make a good save. They do. Right here, I'm going to try and go for the demo and the boost starve. And a great shot for my teammates. So the, the demo, I don't think really mattered because that was a good shot to the top left anyway. But this clear off of get some Yule. Um... Made it really awkward for Zuki, and there you go. Yeah, he wasn't going to recover in time, so the demo was kind of just for <laughs> uh, for no reason. That's okay, though. I do it just in case. He's in 50-50. Really big dive from the opponent. That was that was spilling out to me. He's in 50-50. I was going to try and shoot, but we're up two goals. I feel like that would have been, like, too much. Let's so wait here. Let's get a few pads. I don't have to waste my boost. They have that possession first because they're up the wall. And I see Zuki might go for a touch here as well. So, because they're both on it, I'm just going to make a clear up field. See if my teammate can beat them, which he does. Scares them off. Good try. Just going to wait for him. Because I can tell that, once again, this is a situation where I'm saying, like, in the situation where 
Um, they have to make it clear. Let them waste their possession. Just let them waste the touches. Right here, I see. I'm just like commanding the midfield from grabbing the midfield uh, midfield boost. Like right here, just keeping him off the boost. Now he's super low, and now he's overcommitted in our corner for no reason. I'm gonna go for this early and see if I can go for a shot. Works out. I'll go for a flick. Pop it up. Good dunk. Good try. Pump the other guy out, and now Zuki's last. Kind of gave me the ball too. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying for this. <laughs> Try to go for something fancy. I'm going to move behind my teammate. Once again, I'm just going to grab a few pads and then loop out wide. That's okay. Good try. Good coverage for my teammate, though. Good shot towards target. Almost in. So I got a big throw away from the opponent so I can get a backflip challenge. Colors kind of demos him back for me. Big throw away from the opponents once again. Just a lot of throw away once again. Pop it up off the backboard. Could have shot us towards target. It's a little bit difficult. Good try for my teammate, but it should bounce up. And right here, if I go early and cut in, in field, I can clear it. <laughs> I could definitely tell I was getting close to own goaling, but I, I, had, I had confidence. It was a little bit funny, though, because I was trying to aim for it. And at, in the middle of it, I was like, am I going to do this? Yep, I guess I am. Right here, if I go fast, I can maybe beat him. It's not a big deal, though, because my teammate's already back. Good clear. Good challenge. Zuki should have this now. I see that there's a chance for the guy from the side to challenge. That's why I'm trying to wait to see if he's going to pass or not. Here I'm going to cover my teammate since he's on the back wall. And see what these guys do. They just pinched it midfield. Should be a shot for my teammate. And there it is. Really solid game. Honestly, uh, a few mistakes from myself, but that's natural. Everyone kind of made mistakes in this game. A lot of throwaway possession from the opponents, but overall we punished them with pressure, with starving and, and avoiding the demos that they had going on and then also just like trying to get players out of the game so we had an easy 2v1 but hope you guys enjoyed this episode it's definitely a very sweaty game this is even later than the last recording it's at 2 a.m but i hope you guys enjoyed the episode nonetheless until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one